or we're going until someone doesn't get back up, that would be, I gotta call Dana. Hello, fellas and fellow readers. So last night was UFC Kayakara France versus Albazi. Uh, it was a good fight. It was. The whole card was forgettable. There were some good fights on it, good moments. But this fight particularly, the judges need to change. I, I get asked the question so often, why are, is judging so bad? What, or better yet, what should I, we do to fix the judging in the UFC? And the, the best answer I have is get more judges. No reason, there's no reason there's just three. Get nine. Why? There's no, no reason just three. Get as many as you need. Uh, make it so when you get the bad judges, they just don't matter anymore. And they could have had five judges last night. They could have, they could have honestly just had one because only one of them got it right. Uh, Kaya France lost a split decision. After watching that fight, going into the decision, I didn't think there was a comp. There, there was no chance that it was going to Amir uh, Albazi. There was just no chance of it. Kaya France put on such a clank. You know, it was a good fight. I mean, it was not a one-sided ass whooping. It was just obviously one fighter was better than the other. And Kaya France was much better fighter. He was landing. He was out striking. Actually, I, let me look off screen. <clears throat> Total strikes on the night. Uh, Mr. France, 122. Albazi, 65. Significant strikes. France, 89. Albazi, 51. Head strikes, 60 to 40. Body strikes, 11 to 5. Legs, 18 to 6. Take the takedown attempts. France had two, and Amir Albazi had one of nine attempts. France had two of two. Now, given Albazi, I would say he had two. I think one of them was considered a takedown, and they, they were talking online. They didn't. I don't get that. It's like, Colby Cummington took down Usman. He did. I don't care what anybody says. That was a takedown. Your butt hit the ground. It's a takedown. Didn't hold him down, but it's a takedown. Uh, sub attempts, none, and Amir had one. Uh, if you just listen to those stats, it's a one-sided ass-kicking by Kai France. And it wasn't that. I mean, it, it, the judges didn't see it that way. The judges scored it uh, for a split decision, which is like kissing your sister. A split decision for Amir. It's so, what you don't understand is that decisions like this change careers. They change life life patterns. What's going to happen next? This terrible decision by the judges could very easily make it so Kaya France never again gets close to a title shot. This could be the moment that Kaya France just kind of, well, that that's all she wrote. And then just, you know, kind of turns over a new leaf, trains a little different, and then loses from here on out. This is the fight that could change the life of Kaya France forever. His family, his kids, his whatever. All because two judges don't know what they're looking at. Now, if you get into what they are looking at and why they're looking at it, the UFC doesn't pick that. The UFC goes by the commission rules. The UFC is big enough power that they can help influence the commission, but the commission gets to choose what's being scored. Damage is no longer a criteria. I did hear, though, that they could considered significant strikes, and the reason they did that... So this is interesting. The reason they changed it from damage to significant strikes... Um, or significant striking is because there was a boxing match that the guy got really injured and they sued the commission because of damage. He said, well, because you're scoring damage, they're trying to damage. So they just changed the wording. Damage is still scored. However, I, the problem I have, the problem I have with a lot of judges is they don't train and they're not around. And even if they don't train, they should be around it. They should understand jujitsu. Me, and I, I might even be in the minority with, with MMA fighters. I don't see jujitsu attempts as anything more than control. And control isn't scored anymore. Control is almost nothing. Now, I'll give it to Mr. Albazi. Sorry, I'm pointing to my screen or my tablet off screen. Uh, I'll give it to Albazi. He controlled a lot of the fight. He walked at Kaya a lot. Got hit by Kaya a lot, but walked at him for most of 15 minutes. That's control. Maybe they scored that. He'd walk at him, get hit, but the control... Jiu-jitsu attempts, wrestling attempts, are no more than control. I do think it wasn't a big aspect of this fight, but in the overall scheme of of what is happening in ufc dom and mma dom I think jiu-jitsu is getting way overscored. I think wrestling is getting underscored. And now a lot of people complain about that because well, wrestling is boring. You just hold someone down. Yeah, it is exhausting to hold to be held down. To hold someone down, it's not that hard. Get them down is hard. Hold them down is if you know how to do it, you know how to do it. 
to get back up is exhausting. To be held down is exhausting. It is nuts. And the judges don't understand that. The judges don't know how physically demoralizing it is to be held down by another man. How much it truly takes out of your will to fight, your will to get up, your will to not tap, your, your will to continue fighting. It, that is what wrestling does. Jiu-Jitsu, if you're in an arm bar and you don't tap, it was no more than control. It didn't do any damage. If it did damage, you would have tapped. If you're in a heel hook and you don't tap, it's because it didn't do any damage. You don't score it as damage. You score it as control, which isn't much. You don't score much control. Um, most in, of, of the nine takedown attempts, that was control for Albazi. And during those takedown attempts, Mr. Kia France, he was going to town. He was getting his elbows, getting his short shots. I don't understand how it happened. I don't understand how those judges got it so wrong. I don't know what they saw. I watched it. I watched the fight after I heard the decision. So I said, okay, I'm going to go in. I'm going to watch this, and I'm going to try and see it for a mirror. I couldn't see it. He got outstruck just about every round. Round three, he did get a takedown, had a lot of riding time. It was good scrambles, ended up in a body triangle, ended up on bottom getting his face pummeled in with elbows. That was round three. His strong round, he ended on bottom bleeding. The rest of the fight was more or less Kaya France backing up and then attacking. Bah, bah, bah. By the way, Kaya France, he, he, it was... <laughs> It was so much fun. He kept throwing this double jab kind of step in and rear hook, but it, 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 it was really cool, and it kept landing. Uh, Abazi, he landed two or three good body shots, and that's about it. That's about all that happened. Uh, now, back to the judges. Sorry, I keep getting distracted because it was an entertaining fight. It wasn't a close fight, but it's entertaining. The judging needs to change. They need. At the end of the day, people are overthinking it. It's a fight. You're just trying to beat someone up, and they're trying to beat you up. At the end of the day, you should be able to say, yeah, that guy got beat up. That guy got beat up. And if it's close, maybe you call it close. Maybe you call it something like that. Maybe you find a way. I don't like draws because you can usually tell. Uh, Pride had it down. You do one 10-minute round. If it's close, you do another one. I love that idea. If it's close, do another one. Let's see who wins eventually. Uh, and that, that was my opinion of the fight. I, I'm so disappointed. I hope Mr. France bounces back. I hope he gets close to that title. I hope he... I don't want to say I hope he gets the title because I like the champion. But I hope he gets that opportunity because this is demoralizing. He is going to be seething after this. If the UFC helps him out, gives him an easy opponent uh, as a comeback, that would be the best thing to do. Help just make him forget about this fight. Give him and power to Amir. He had a good fight. He got beat. Well, I guess he didn't. He had a good fight. Give him whoever you want to get him. I don't think this fight should get him any closer to a title fight. Uh, I, I don't think it should be a highlight reel that he didn't do anything that was highlighting of this. Uh, he got taken down once, got got taken down twice. He got a takedown, although I do say he got two takedowns. He did fine, but it was very unmemorable victory other than he lost the fight. Uh, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. How would you change scoring? I want to just have it looked at as a fight. You're you're fighting. Whoever wins, wins. <laughs> have it be to the death. Have it be till somebody quits. Ah, keep it. I would love to. That would be cool if UFC could do that once a year. Where every fight is we're going until it's over. We're going until someone doesn't get back up. That would be. Oh, I gotta call Dana. Mm. All right. Hey, thanks for all the Love y'all. Keep me posted. Let me know what you think in the comments.